Hey guys, my hair is ugly because of. <laughs> I need to cut my hair. Um, way too long now. Like, don't you think? To here now. Okay, if it starts like this, it looks good. But you know, mm, mm, I think it's too long. I think I might just humble myself. I've been saying it for a while. I said it not for a while now. I said it like once or twice in a video. But I think I might. Oh, just the punch back. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Push the joke. What was it again? I said it for a while now, but um, yeah, I'm gonna humble myself. I'm gonna shave bald. I'm gonna go bald and get like a slit or something on my eyebrow. A real fuckboy shit. <laughs> uh, put my straight forward so you can see my face, my beautiful face. In like fucking one know, horrible quality. Anyways, I'm watching Hamza's video on They're Not Your Friends, and I wanted to title this video saying that I'm so glad I dropped these guys. I'm so glad. I dropped, um... Damn, man, I look so fucking small here. Damn, what the fuck? I look bigger in my boxing gym mirror. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, I don't care. I'm so glad I dropped these guys because... I'm so much more productive without them. I'm so much more productive without them. And ever since I did drop them, I like, put my distance in between. I just... How do I say this? So much happier. I feel like I'm not wasting my life as much, and I've been more in reality, and I've been more responsible, and I've been more grinding. What the fuck is this angle, bro? Damn, it's a jaw. It's weird, man. What was it again? Look, and a lot of people when they they're afraid to drop friends because they're worried that they won't be able to make another group of friends because they've dropped that group of friends. And I'm here to dispel that. You can make more friends. Maybe perhaps not close friends, but maybe it'll take a long while, but you can make more friends. You don't have to surround yourself continually with fucking idiots and people that will hold you down forever. With people that, with limiting beliefs, with realistic beliefs, with limiting beliefs. And what does they even risk me mean anyway? Okay, that's, that's a separate argument. That's, that's another video. With realistic beliefs and fucking demeaning attitudes and horrible negative people. You surround yourself with those type of people and you ask yourself... Oh, why can't I make more any more friends? Da, 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 da. I didn't really need to drop these guys or some stupid shit like that. Well, you could have just dropped them anyway, and you could have just made new friends anyway. You don't have to keep them in the in the place. You are the, some of the five people you hang around the most. So if you're around, if you for example, you're around lazy people that smoke weed all day, at some point you're gonna go, you're gonna become curious, and you'll be like, hmm, what is the weed thing that everyone's doing? It's not everyone's doing it. It's the select few people that you're around that are doing it. All right. <laughs> That might look suspicious that I have tissue next to my <laughs> next to my thing, but it's empty guys. No jerk off. Because I want to I want to be free. I want to blow my nose. That's it. And that's the unsexy truth. Like you don't have to surround yourself constantly with these people. I don't it was it. Let me read this comment from uh Ham's video that I wanted to talk about. As an ex-bartender. I can 100% agree with, you're not friends with them, you're friends with the same drug, in uh, quotations. I worked at, at the pub for two years, two and a half years, and became very close to a lot of my people, but once my mental health took a turn for the worst, I ended up ended up leaving. I haven't heard it from anyone I, that I used to talk to. Edit, I'm reunited with my old group of friends, one being my best friend I had from age 16 to 21, so five years. I'm 23 now, so seven years. We've got, we've all got plans to go to Amsterdam next year, and we're talking like nothing has changed. It's funny how life works. And in the replies, someone says, "I hope you're doing better now, uh, uh, bro," or some shit like that. Appreciate that, bro. I'm kind of, I'm kind of used to not having friends now. Being 23, it isn't easy making friends anymore. But you just come to accept that not everyone is destined to have friends. That is a fucking cap, bro. I made so many friends with the introduction of my new boxing gym, all right? They might not be entirely close, but that's because I don't bridge the, bridge the gap, all right? Most of these things, right? Most of the time, you want to make friends, you're going to be the, you got to be the initiator. Everyone in your life is neutral. This is the weird thing about the West. Everyone's cold, neutral, and distant. Like, you go to the gym. A gym's supposed to be a public space. If you talk to anyone, you see it as a creep or some shit. The fuck? Or like, oh, people are worried that they're going to be seen as a creep or some shit if they talk to other people in the gym. Which is completely far from the truth. I made a bunch of fucking gym friends. 
I don't, I don't care. I just talk to people. I just don't give a fuck. That's the secret of confidence. Wow, one on one, confidence one on one. Don't give a fuck because when you go home, you be like, oh, why did I say that? I'm so embarrassed. They probably forgot that shit already, or maybe they laughed at it with, or laughed at, at it at the thing that you just the stupid thing you just did with your friends, with their friends. Even if they have friends in the first place, a bunch of people are fucking lonely these days. Why do you give a fuck? You give too much of a fuck of, of, of a bullshit. I can talk to people anywhere. I remember, I remember this girl before. I was asking for directions. She's like, uh, Jimmy, why did you ask for directions? It's so weird. Like, I, I, I was literally lost. I was literally lost. I don't know what the fuck I was. So I went to directions. I called her. I'm like, can you help me with the directions? It doesn't help. Okay, whatever. Can you leave the call? And I, um, I was two big, two big people. I just left the call thing. And then I started talking to these random strangers because I don't give a fuck. I need to, I need to go home. I need, to, I need to go. <laughs> I'm lost as fuck, right? I just finished a twelve-hour work shift from my from my work workplace. And it was it was just I'm dead tired. I'm lost. I want to go home. That's it. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, Jimmy, you're so weird. Did you hang up? Bye. The fuck? Bye. The Jeffries, the peons, the people that are below you will only look down on you. You never get hate from above. You never get hate from above. All right? No one for, in a higher position in, in the world, in society, looks down on people. Like, in a demeaning way. You know? You never get hate from above. You only get hate from the spurgs below. All right? She was like some antisocial fuck anyway. Bye. I don't give a fuck, guys. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't, I don't think you should care as much as well about, about bullshit. Because if you end up caring so much, you end up achieving nothing. That's a huge problem. Listen, guys. Can you can you take this off? The candle. I'm going to light it in a minute. Listen, guys. You can make friends if you're 23. You can make friends if you're 30. 40, 50, 60, 60, 70. You just need to make the effort and ensure that you care. Most people usually are nice, right? Odd times you'll get the people that are really rude. Block them. Don't give a fuck. Why? I don't care. I don't. That's why I don't feel necessarily as pressured from losing these, losing these gamer guys that I was friends with before. Because I just made new friends. I don't see problem i can make new friends that are on the entrepreneurship entrepreneurship way on productive way on life improvement site life improvement way i don't necessarily see as to why it's such a big issue everyone is people no one is above or below me i mean obviously in some aspects yes money fitness yes of course but no one is above or below me in like there's too many people in the world no one's really above we're all kind of same same ish so why hams can be so successful right because he talked to his younger self. And I talked to myself and to my younger self. I, in these videos, I'm not necessarily like preaching a message so much as I am reaffirming my own beliefs. Obviously, I want to spread out my philosophy and spread out my message. But it isn't as, how do I say this? It isn't as prevalent as me just talking to my younger self and how I approach my younger self. Like the video when I said, uh, what would I do if I was 15 or self or some shit? Like, I, have I made that video? Or what? Uh, advice to younger people, uh, super young people that watch some print videos or some shit like that. That's, that's advice I take myself, you know? We're not special. None of us are special. So get rid of the fact that uh, <laughs> that any of us are special because <laughs> we're not. It's like that. It's like, it's like, that, it's like that, the fallacy that I've seen, right? A lot of guys are like, they see a cute girl. They see an absolutely a gorgeous girl. And they're like, you know what? She's absolutely gorgeous. Put my Tinder radius up. I can't talk to her in real life because she's out of my league. I'm going to put my Tinder radius up. So maybe I can get a girl slightly uglier than her as a whore that can fuck me. <laughs> Guys. Your priorities are all wrong. She's right there. Go talk to her. <laughs> the hell? No, who cares if you fumble? Who cares? At least you have core approach experience. The hell? <laughs> uh... I don't care, guys. That's it. I don't care. I used to really stress my position in life before. Don't care. Do what can you do now? 
That's the most important part, uh, more question to ask. That's the most important question to ask. What can you do now? What is the best possible move on the chessboard now? Why would you worry about shit in the past? Why would you worry about people, other people's opinions? What the fuck? It's like that fight club energy. We buy things that we don't like to, imp to impress people. We don't even like uh, even more. What's the shit? We buy useless things to impress people we don't even like. It's like, whoa, whoa with me, fight club, wow, edgy. What the fuck? It's bullshit. Obviously that's true, and it is edgy. But, I just simply don't give a fuck. It's that simple. I was like, I started this YouTube channel, so I don't give a fuck. One of my videos got like 60 views recently. I got kind of quite nervous. I gave a little bit of a fuck. I'm, I'm honest, I gave a little bit of a fuck. Then I just went back with my day, because I don't care. It's all virtual. It was like, what was it? It's all smoke and mirrors. Even, no. Only if I went super ultra viral, like my videos got like a few million views. Okay, then I'll give a fuck, because I'll be worried a bit, but I'll still be uploading, like, the same rate. i still be uploading like crazy. I want to change. It's changing. I know, like, I, it's like the YouTubers that they get, like, a bunch of subscribers and they go super family-friendly. And they change. And I don't like them anymore. Like, if my videos go viral, you came for the version you're seeing me, like, it goes viral. You came for the version that you're seeing, the version of me that you're seeing right now. You don't come for the super friendly, guys, like and subscribe and watch my videos and then, I will never tell you to like and subscribe. Maybe for, maybe in the, in the main channel video, because my main channel is basically like, like, a, like a train, like a, a bullet train in order to success. But this channel is just actually me. It's just, just me and my thoughts, me and myself and I, and I don't think I should change for anyone. So I don't, I don't need to put like a, facade like and subscribe guys if we reach 10,000 likes we're literally gonna make another video just like this one challenge video woohoo that's not how i would like to approach youtube even on my entertainment channel berserker i don't want to approach youtube like that i think approaching youtube like that is completely fake and at some point it becomes exhausting because you're a fake individual right i think being your most authentic self and finding people that accept you is the best possible way you can go about things anyways it's we're still gonna reach 50 minutes Oh, oh, what are you inside this video? Oh, I'm glad I dropped these guys. I don't even know. It's a random, random video. I should make more Fox videos. I'll clip this up. I'll make a clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'll do another time. I don't know time I mean me now. I've got, got, got a video edit. Guys, guys, you have to understand. I've got a video edit it now, man. Video edit it. 2023 is going to be my month, bro. Sayonara.